hi everybody and welcome back to my channel so in today's video I work on my short natural nails again they are short square nails because I really do like that shape at the moment and um, so on these nails I do use mainly just gel polishes but I do apply a thin layer of brush up builder gel to my nails uh, it just gives them that little bit of added strength as soon as I am working on my natural nails so again as with all videos I just uh, apply base coat then I applied my which I cured for 30 seconds then I applied my gel strengthener um, which I cured again for 30 seconds and then I applied my brush up builder gel which I cured for 60 seconds so now I'm just applying my gel polish um, and I honestly don't know how to pronounce the name of this gel polish but it's a 4-in-1 gel polish <laughs> so I apply two coats of that curing each coat in my LED lamp for 30 seconds um, and of course no top coat needed so perfect time saver love it obviously I filed and buffed the nail before I did apply this gel polish and I'm just applying my cuticle oil to that nail as well cute so on my forefinger I just applied some sequins they're just sort of um, just like some tiny pieces of hexagons I think they are or something like those squares or hexagons and uh, yeah in the shade blue I don't remember where I got them from I've had them for years so yeah so I just used the brush up build gel and I applied those to the nail a little bit labour intensive as soon as I had to apply one single piece of glitter at each time um, but I got there in the end and I quite like the design I quite like the look of my natural nail topped off with a little bit of glitter cute so yeah So on my middle finger I just went in with a little bit of an ombre design with using one of my diamond glitters and I love the effect, I love the colour of this diamond glitter, it's absolutely gorgeous.
so on my ring finger I went in again with my gel polish, uh, my 4 in 1 gel polish, no top coat needed for this one but I did go over it with a matte top coat just to give it that a little bit of a matte effect and then I went over that around the cuticle area in the 4 in 1 gel polish in the black shade, again I don't know how to pronounce that one, and a very fine detail brush and then I just applied some chrome powder to that black area of that nail just to just to give it um, a silvery effect. I really quite like this effect. It's probably one of my favourite styles of um, nail art. One of them. I have a few. Then on my little finger I got to the point where I wasn't really sure what I was doing so I was just sort of doodling with nail art really. I quite like the effect of it though, it looked quite cool and cute so I was pleased with it in the end, it was just one of them occasions where I had no idea what I was doing and I went with the flow, I liked it in the end. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching my video this week guys, I do appreciate it as always. If you enjoyed it please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and don't forget I do have a discount code for all the items that I've used in today's video and I will leave links to them in the description box below. Stay safe guys, take care, bye!